Hi and welcome to this video tutorial from the iGoTerra team. I'm going to show you how you can manage your observations. This is an extremely useful and powerful tool that you will probably use many times over and over again for different purposes. The function is called Edit My Observations, which you will find under the menu Observations. So here it is. You go to Edit My Observation. And the first thing you need to do is to decide on the selection that you want to manage. For example, you can decide that you want to do birds. You select the area, for example. You can choose uh, United Kingdom. And uh, here it is. You can have a selection of date, uh, year, month, or whatever combination you want. Let's pick a year here. Uh, you can also search for a family of birds, or a genus, or a certain species. Uh, you can also search for a special uh, location, either a geocoded location or a free text location. You can also uh, look at your observation from a specific trips. Uh, that is a separate tutorial. You can also uh, set a number of special filters. For example, you can look for observations where you have incorrectly, by mistake, put a few to date. That could be quite useful. You can also watch uh, uh, observations without a full date. For example, you may have entered uh, just a year and then at a later point in time you want to add the month and date. So you can filter out those observations. You can also search for all your don't count observations. Uh, this, could, this could be observations where you're not perfectly sure about the identification. You can also look for all your private observations that you have decided to be hidden from all other IgoTerra users. You can also look for observations that you have registered in no country. Maybe you did that initially and now you want to spend some time on allocating them to a specific country. You can also look for all your herd only observations. So a number of standalone filters. But let's uh, go with this one, United Kingdom birds from 2017, and I click on set filter. So here I get my observations. For example, I have this observation on mute swan. I can mark this one, and I get a toolbox option here, where I can link this observation to a geocoded location. Now it actually happens to be a geocoded location already. I may want to change that. I can change the date, I can delete the observation, I can change the species if it was uh, incorrect from the beginning. I can move it to a lower taxon, which means assigning it to a subspecies, for example. I can also export it to eBird, for example. I can also mark all of these set in the filter at the top, or I can just mark a few of them and then the toolbox options will change accordingly, accordingly to what is uh, relevant. I can, uh, if I choose this mute swan, I can uh, add a photo. This is a very convenient way to connect a photo to your observation. I can also edit this observation. I get uh, a standard pop-up uh, window where you add and edit observations. So you can change time and date, location, quantity, uh, sex, gender, activity, appearance, age, and so forth. So this you can do by using this quick link. You can also decide to delete this observation. You can also go to the species page, the species page for mute swan. Or you can go to the photo gallery of mute swan. So there are a number of things that, that you can do with Edit My Observation, and as I said initially, you will probably come back to this function many times over and over again. Last but not least, I would like to mention that up here you have a black question mark, and if you click on this one, you will have some useful information uh, how this tool is working. You can click this away then. So, thank you for watching this IgoTerra video tutorial. And we trust that you by now know how you can manage your observations in an easy way. Thank you for watching.